making connections in a divided world through the universal language of art and creativity. That's one of the key aims of Japan's Expo 2025. And in Learning and Playing Theme Week, we'll see just how important creativity is to acquiring knowledge and what the future of learning could look like in an AI-powered world. Media artist Yoshi Ochiai, who designed the mind-bending mirrored Null Null Pavilion, led a panel about how AI and other technologies are changing education and reshaping how we learn. When you try to learn something new and you rely only on AI, then maybe you will get like a wrong information that uh, you will remember the thing wrong because the AI model hallucinates all the time. Something that AI creates is kind of normal, like a mediocre, but yeah, for a human, we have like a creativity that uh, I don't think AI can beat us. Musician, mathematician, and champion of STEAM education, Sachiko Nakajima is behind the Invigorating Lives Playground of Life Jellyfish Pavilion, where she says people can experience the joy and possibility of creativity a characteristic she too believes won't be replaced by AI. I am not afraid at all because for me, AI is like a friend. So when you meet with somebody who are different from me, it's just so interesting and inspiring. So AI is another existence. So we have to learn how to co-live together with AI. Inclusion was at the heart of this event, focusing on harnessing the strengths of diversity. Everyone is different, and we believe that everyone is minority, so actually. So we have some kind of a unique characteristics. We like to treasure those kind of diversified personalities or characteristics of everyone. Creativity and art can be powerful tools to connect people in a divided world. Chilean filmmaker Maite Alberti was among the guests discussing how they can bridge gaps in society. She says cinema breaks down barriers. I think that with intimate and personal stories, that's what films do especially, like to break the stereotypes and the prejudice. Mm, <laughs> Elderly, it's also a prejudge. I made my last two films about elderly people. I can do 100 different films about elderly people and I will have 100 different stories. Overcoming prejudice and unconscious bias are also some of the central themes of Peace, Human Security and Dignity Theme Week. Biases and prejudice are sort of silent architects of uh, conflict. If those things are unaddressed, a huge amount of frustration, uh, difficulties, injustices uh, spread uh, in different parts of the society and that actually becomes one of the key root causes, if you will, of conflict today. And it is very important that today's young people are part of these discussions. They will be the one inheriting today's world. And more than that, they will be the one who will be building a, a future peace. And on August the 6th, Hiroshima Peace Memorial Day, children from Japan and around the world presented the Peace Communication Declaration, ensuring the Expo's message of tolerance lives on in the next generation. The hope for the future is that this world will have no more fights like war, like atomic bomb. I hope there, that there should be no more World War III and like the world should be at peace. Well, that's all we've got time for in this program. For more creative ideas for the future from Expo 2025, check out euronews.com.